Hello. Welcome to another episode of How to Do This Lab. This lab is called Blood Spatter String Angles Crime Scene Lab. And there's a story about Jack Jacobs and Janie, his wife. Um, he tells a story to law enforcement. And your job is, from the evidence that you collect, determine if what Jack is saying is true or not true. You're going to try to corroborate his story and try to determine not the cause of death, but the manner of death. So we have, uh, it's definitely not natural, you know, as you'll see. Um, so you have homicide, suicide, and accidental. Um, undetermined is not going to be one of the choices for this lab. Okay, so there are written instructions, but I'm going to go through this with you to try to have it a little bit easier for you to go through the lab. Okay, so some things that you're going to need along with the lab itself on classroom, you're going to need your arc sign or the inverse sign or sine negative one equation, which is width divided by length. Then you get the inverse sign and you're going to get the impact angle from that. So you're going to need a calculator also. Don't forget we're going to need that. Um, you're going to need a, an activity sheet, which has a bunch of blood spatters on them. Okay, it's laminated, so you can do a, a few things with it. You're going to need some clay. I already taken off a little piece that we're going to be using. You don't need a huge piece, but that's some clay. You're going to need a straw. You're going to need a protractor. All right, you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need an Exo markers, helpful, and some tape. And then we're going to clean up with um, the rag there that we have and some um, sanitizer. Okay, so we're going to start over here. Um, it does say that you can determine the, the length from each spatter to the head, which you can do that from the beginning. You can start with that. And then you're gonna do that for each one. Okay, and then just continue all the way around. Uh, to help you with that, you can also take your Expo marker and number the blood spatters. It doesn't really matter which one is one, which one is two, however you wanna start it. So I'm gonna just number it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so that's done. And that's basically what you can see from the top. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little ball of clay. I'm gonna make it as round as I can. What I'm going to put this on a ring stand so you can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to just round that out. Okay, put it where it says head of victim. See where that center is? I'm gonna need that in just a moment. I'm just kind of squish it down just a little bit. All right, squish it. We're gonna then take the straw and we're gonna put it in that center as best as we can. We want the straw to be standing up on its own. So get it to stand up straight. Okay, it needs to be standing up straight. So, so far this is what we have. Okay, you have the clay, you have the straw. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna measure one of these. Let's try this one because we can see it in the frame. Okay, so um, let's see what our numbers are. I'm gonna use my ruler. It's nice to have a clear ruler. And you're going to do this in millimeters or centimeters. It doesn't really matter because the units are going to cancel out. But make sure that you're in the widest point. And this looks like it's reading. Sorry if I'm in that frame. Uh, kind of 0.7. Okay, so 0.7 for our width. And then we need... Our length, remember the length is the longer part. I'm gonna go this way. Make sure you're down the center. 
Again, it's a little bit challenging for me to see it, but it looks like it's 1.2 centimeters. So that's 1.2. Okay. So I'm going to now take my calculator. All right. And we have, oops, I'm going to move this. There we go. Perfect. Uh, 0.7 divided by 1.2 and I'm going to do the inverse sine of that inverse sine so this is saying this is a 35.68 degree angle so it's about 36 ish all right so how we do that so we're going to do this 36 degree angle by you take the string that you cut again we have this whole ball of string here. You're going to take the string. I'm going to put this a little straighter so you can see it a little bit better. I hope. I'm going to move that like that. Okay. So we're going to go to number one. I'm going to take this string. Actually, I'm going to do this. All right. Oh. I'm sorry you're looking at this sideways, but I want to try to get it straight. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. I'm going to take the string that I cut. And you're going to see why you're going to need more than one person to do this. I'm going to put this string just kind of in this, past the center and tape it so that the center is where I can move it. So I'm going to move this just a smidgen. I want to be able to move the center part of the string. Okay. All right. All right. So it's now it's mobile and it's going to go toward the straw. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, what I need to do is take my protractor in the same direction as the blood spatter is going towards the person so this is where Janie was so the straw is Janie okay and you can see that's where her head is in terms of xy plane is the clay and the straw is the plane the z plane we want to figure out how high off the ground all right so if it's a 30 what did we say 36 degrees about so you're going to take this protractor. Someone's going to be holding up for you. You're going to go to 36 degrees on the protractor. And wherever that hits on your straw is where you're going to tape it down. So it hit around there. Okay, you're going to have to be exact. Again, when you have two people, it's much easier to do that. I'm going to tape it down for you so you can see it. Sorry that it's kind of moving around. All right. All right. Make sure that it is taut, meaning that it's tight, that it's not like bending all over the place, the string itself. Don't move the straw all over the place. You want to keep the straw straight. So now you'll have one of them that looks like this okay and then you're going to do the rest of the seven of them the same way and string it up you're also going to figure out using your ruler oopsies Ooh. using your ruler how high that is in centimeters okay you want to figure out the height in centimeters for each string Sorry that that is falling, but you kind of get the idea. Okay, let me fix him a little bit. As I'm sorry that this is going to end up looking upside down. Okay, I just want to fix that. Because all of your strings need to be on the straw. Again, when you have a partner, it's going to be a little bit easier. 
than me trying to do this. Okay, so this is what we have so far. You're gonna do that with all seven of them. Then you're going to uh, make sure that you fill out the data. So let's look at this data on the back. This is gonna be on classroom. So we have here the distance from the victim's head. We talked about that in the beginning. The width of the drop, the length of the drop. We're gonna use the equation to get the impact angle. Okay, then you're going to measure the height. That's the last piece. So this is your XY plane, and then this is your Z plane. This is the important part where we string it up. And then we're going to use that information. We're going to uh, tell you a few things that Janie is five feet, five inches tall. We're going to convert her height from inches to centimeters. You can look that up. Okay, I'm going to put in don't put 5.5 because it's not 5.5. You know, if you put 0.5 for height, that would mean that she's 5 feet 6 inches tall. That's not true. You have to put in 5 feet 5 inches tall, okay? Because 0.5 of 12 inches is 6 inches, not 5 inches. Just a reminder. Uh, so you're going to fig figure out what the centimeters are, Okay. Then you're going to do a scaling factor. So we know that the height of the straw is 19.4 centimeters. I'm telling you that. You're going to take your answer in number one, whatever this was, and you're going to divide it by 19.4. That's going to be what we call our scaling factor. It's going to help us figure out in reality what are these heights are and what are they measuring. So in number three, you're going to find the average height of the strings on the straw. You probably want to have a few people <laughs> making sure that you get the average of all of these heights. So you're going to give that value in centimeters. Now we're going to scale back to Janie herself. We're going to take whatever answer we got in number two, which is our scaling factor, times what we have, the average height of the strings in number three. We're going to multiply them together. And that's going to give us the height on Janie. Where is that on Janie? And then you're going to convert that back into inches, so centimeters back into inches. So you're going to decide then from that information, does his story make sense? Is it true? Does it make sense what he told the authorities um, in the scenario at the beginning? So again, there are directions in the procedure. There is a written procedure if you need that to go along with this video. But um, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Again, not something for you to work on alone. When you are done, you can pretty much take any kind of paper towel or even one of the rags that I have out and just take off the numbers because these are going to be in... Not in Sharpie. Do not do this in Sharpie. It, Expo markers, you can just do that. That's easy. And the clay, uh, we can dump the straw. You can uh, keep the strings if you want. You don't have to. But clean up, and then that's it. All right. Good luck. Thank you.